that's uh, what you spent years working up to and everybody, all the hard work and dedication comes down. They only got a couple races left this season. If they don't go now, go home. That's it. It's about consistency and what we saw as Gustel talked about everybody's results. That one really fast lap and then laying in the gravel isn't going to get you the result. It's not going to get you the practice that you need to turn to, to learn a technical racetrack like this. Great racetrack, lots of fun to go around. Once you find your way around, I think uh, everybody will really have fun. Second to last turn, I was looking, I was walking in. It looks like everyone no. comes in on the next. Ideally, you want to get in, get back, and really concentrate on getting through that right and driving up. Yes, I'm the coach of Dajiro. Yes, we are racing also in Japan, and uh, he is the rider of my team. Yeah, his, his father bring uh, to the Nordic Racing School when he was uh, seven years old. Dajiro is one of these kids, when we saw him first in, in 2007, you just look at him and you, you go, wow, that kid looks so beautiful on the motorcycle, he's an absolute natural. And since then, it just hasn't clicked for him. You know, he's always there. He's always quick, but he hasn't he hasn't won another race since Estoril last year. We are very far from our country, uh, so frankly speaking, uh, it's very hard to make uh, the trip to come here. No, uh, but uh, Red Bull Rookie Cup is uh, really competitive. So I think it, uh, it's a good way to, to improve the uh, uh, quality of the rider. My opinion is rider must feel the machine. Yeah. And do you think that he feels the bike? Uh, no, not enough. <laughs> yeah, 14 years old, still he must improve. Uh, his main target is uh, to catch the school, Stura, yes. That's mine. So yours? Yeah. It's the worst one that was there. No, the fuck I laid my one there. So it must, someone must not have thought about briefing. So I put it Wait. on and I thought, that's, just, that's yeah, the this, bike for me. Yeah, yeah this is mine. Mine's in my backpack right Yeah, thanks. Like, it sucks if you got a bad grid position like I did in Saks Ring. I was stuck like in about 10th in the first corner and I had to like pass everyone and then trying to catch the leader, I crashed. So, in the times I started in first this year, I won. So, it helps like a lot if you qualify good. It seems like all the kids are putting that added pressure on themselves right now, and I think we're seeing the effect on some of the kids. <laughs> nice! practice I wasn't even pushing but when I was gonna put in second gear the bike got into neutral and then jumped into second gear so I they really tried like jumped out and a high side starting from like the back tomorrow but see what happens anyway. Having shit for lap times on this track you gotta go and then when you win shit your time started boom 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 you know, there's only a couple guys going quicker than you, but you just took you too long to get there. I didn't want to crash. That's okay. I'm all about that. They said that. that if you crash and the bike was messed up, you wouldn't race there. Really? Well, that's cool. That's all right. But you still got to get out there and get some laps that time, you know? That's the key. You know, most of the people that are helping him understand that, hey, you just got to get through this year. You got to take advantage of this. You got to go do the best that you can. Don't let yourself get down. I believe 100% of my being, I know Hayden has all of the tools that he needs to, to be a world champion, to be multiple world champion. You gotta break it in and you gotta need break back. Yeah, yeah they told us four laps. Yeah, and all the break, you know how to show you. I wanna see him in the front. I'm already tired of seeing him in the back. <laughs> It'll be in the front where he belongs. Not 20, 15, no way. Top five. Top five. Kent gets a good start. All the men on the front row get a good start. Corn 
Fell is there, as is Hayura. There's the red helmet of number 33, Sterla Fagerhaug, the Norwegian. He's the cup leader by 25 points from Jakob Kornfile. Marino leads from Kornfile, from Kent, from Gagne. And there's Fagerhaug, absolute disaster, and he walks away in total dejection there. Well, that 25-point lead has just evaporated. Oh, it's a collision there, it's Hayura and Marino come together. That was sort of going to happen sooner or later. Well, we got one out, I think it's Solis. Poor old Benny, he really has, things have not worked and he just lost the front there on the brakes at the end of the straight. Yeah. Last lap, here we go, this is it. Gagne comes around the outside, but Hiura gets the drive. It's Hiura with the drive up the hill. Beautiful run up the hill, and there's the leader, Jakob Kornfeld. Out onto the start and finish straight. He can just cruise across the line now. Perfect ride for Jakob Kornfeld. Second perfect ride in two weeks. Jacob got a good start, got out front, got away from, from all the chaos that was going on behind him. Managed to pick up uh, 25 points, which makes the championship between him and Sterla Fagerhau absolutely even going to the last two rounds in Bruno. The bike was 100% and it was everything was very, very, very good. And perhaps you don't know that Sterla Fagerhau, in fact, crashed out of the race, so you've now tied on points with him. Yes, it's very good. I have the same point, I think, now. I don't uh, have, not happy because uh, 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 I saw the position I am. And so many times this year you've been caught in a bunch and unable to I get away. I hope the Why could you break away today, do you think? A lot of uh, emotions involved at this point, you know, the highs and the lows of racing has become evident. A lot of these kids have a lot of pressure on them and right now Sterla is folding under the pressure. This is two races in a row, he's crashed out. After the last two bad races, uh, just been home chilling with friends and stuff, uh, getting ready for the next race. training I do like running and stuff but mental I'm just like being myself uh, it's not like I have to prepare my mind really for anything um, it's been handling it pretty well anyway so down here is mainly where I hang out so my uh, TV and my Xbox down here so yeah this is where I hang out my friends come over here and just chill Listen to music, watch movies, play Xbox. It says Norwegian motorsport athlete in 2008. So I got 20,000 Norwegian, which is about almost $4,000. So just won that last year and yeah, it's a nice prize. We've always uh, been into motorbikes. Tula would come with us to the races. So since he was a baby, he, was, he liked it. We didn't say anything to him to, <clears throat> you have to start with this. The contrary, I would say. We told him it's very expensive, so we'd rather not. Certainly, if you want to do this, you have to get your own bike. They had me collecting empty bottles, which you get uh, money for in Norway. So I collected about 10,000 of those and bought my first 50cc motocross uh, bike. This, I don't know, maybe I was... 45, 46 or something yeah. years old. And these guys were more like 20. 20. <laughs> it was like grandpa. So, yeah, <laughs> and I beat most of them, so it was very exciting. <laughs> well, I had told the paper just for fun that I will stop today, so it's faster than me. And we was uh, competing together in a Norwegian championship. 
and in the qualifying he was faster than me so then okay now I stop still not 12 years old yeah I don't think I have anything to learn him I think he must learn that from other guys now so he's uh, what you call uh, way behind the level I was on so he talks with other people not me yeah. I feel that I'm there as a mother nothing more uh, a person that could support him if, uh, if it's needed or, or just hang around. I like so much to go to the races, not only to watch him, but also to watch the MotoGP classes and uh, just to, to be there uh, on the track. I don't know really why my parents always want to come to all the races, but say you have a normal job and then your parents is going to come there and watch it every, every day. That, you understand it's kind of weird. I've seen some moms like freak out when their kids are riding and I just like think if that was my mom I'd punch her in the face, you know. If Stula crashes or gets fifth, sixth, I know that he would be disappointed, but I'm not disappointed. I mean, I, after all, this is a race and they're so lucky to be there. <laughs> they're so good at what they're doing and they're, they come so far. Yeah, so now I'm tied for first with Jakob Kornfield and going to Czech Republic, it's his own track, so it's going to be hard, but still think I got a pretty good shot. Had a, had a great season up to the last couple rounds and he's made a few critical mistakes and, and given a large chunk of points away. Coming to the last round, knowing that, that Jacob Kornfell has it's his home track, he's got that home field advantage here. And with that, Sterla, I'm sure is of the two of them feeling more tension than the other. Mainly like have to look out for Jacob, but also that Giro is close in the championship. So, okay. let's see what happens. Perfect, thanks mate. I think Sterla is nervous. Jakob's going really fast right now, and he's doing good. There's a lot of other fast people, but yeah. should be a good couple races. Everyone can get past during the race for when you do a, a little mistake. Accept this mistake. Okay, it was a little mistake. I don't do this anymore. Next lap, I do it better. I carry on. I am part of the Rookie Cup. I am part of the team. And I am strong enough to be in this team. It's the last weekend for this season. Don't think about results in the past. Think about the moment. And take care of you all. And I wish to see 27 smiling faces. Going into the final round here in Bruno, the excitement and the tension in the tent is uh, it's pretty amazing. You know, there's certain sides, some guys going to try and work together off the front. Um, you know, and this track's big enough and wide enough and fast enough that I think we're going to see a pretty good group at the front. We we are friends from uh, last year. Last year, yeah. yeah. On a selection, maybe. Selection? Yes, maybe selection from maybe. in the succeeding. We are very close to the time on every track. Who will win? Sure, me. I won't be before Sturla. It's important for me. We, we, we have the plan for race. And <laughs> I, can, I can not say something. It's only me and, and he. Secret. So we, we have the secret plans for the race. <laughs>